grown-ups? Is that what we are? It's good to see you too, sis. What brings you home? Welcome back to another episode on b Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review a very long-awaited film that got pushed way back due to the pandemic, but finally seized a theatrical release with Marvel's Black Widow. With fans wondering when Scarlett Johansson will get a crack at her own standalone film, comes the very first and hopefully much more to come in the future. With this new installment into the MCU storyline, this is the first film that fans, including myself, couldn't wait to explore the roots of Natasha Romanoff. Black Widow was produced by Marvel Studios and released by Disney in 2021. The film takes place right after Captain America Civil War in the story arc where Natasha is running away due to the end of the film where she and other Avengers are wanted by the government. Not to get too much into that, but Civil War was an also an excellent film and a must watch as well. The film gives glimpses of a normal life turned upside down with Russia sending families to spy and steal information from the United States. Natasha is one of many who is sent into a fake family to infiltrate just the same, with seemingly a loving family turned into wanted criminals and then used for their physical skills. Each member of the spy family is then separated. With each member going on their own way, Natasha's younger sister, played by Florence Pugh, comes to her senses, also as a widow, on a mission gone bad. Her only resolve is to seek out Natasha for help. Doing so, Natasha comes to grips with her past and her spy family. As the two embark to destroy what created them both, they seek the aid of their own spy family with the Red Guardian, played by David Harbour, and mother, Melina, played by Rachel Weisz. The pacing of the story is just right, as the action, story, and character development are done very nicely and making it easy to follow without killing the pacing and strong acting performances from all four family members. The character development is fantastic in this one, where the sisters' banter is fun, like a sibling rivalry with so many comedic quips that also leads to serious emotions that have you can't help but feel for them. The acting is superb and I never got bored with the writing as the film has fun with the characters as well as making them grow and develop. The action is where the film shines the most. With very little superhero powers in this one, you marvel at the hand-to-hand -hand combat, car chases, explosions, two fantastic choreographed action sequences that you have never seen before. That is where the film is at its best. You feel that the action and truly experience it on another level. The hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes make the viewer really feel the impact of being thrown to various camera shots the action takes you to. Each scene is unique and original as there is no way I knew where the next scene would take you and would be very surprised on how you eventually arrive there. They just didn't want to reenact action scenes but do them in a way no one has seen before make it a very fresh and never a bore to watch. I never once felt bored or felt the film dragged on. If it wasn't for the great story or writing I was into the action and vice versa. The film brings back what we miss from action movies where the story can be impactful when done right and does it so well where this will be hard to top. Black Widow gets a 9.0 out of 10 for Marvel's triumphant return to the big screen with tremendous action sequences, emotional attachment to all characters in their development with a story that is both simple but told just the right way. Literally my favorite movie of the year so far and a must watch. That's it for me on this review for Black Widow. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.
Here's what's gonna happen. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. You're going to get the back hunch. Mm, listen to your mother. Oh my God, this. Up, up, listen. All right, enough, all of you. I didn't say anything. That's not fair. Damn. Keep, keep. Who cares? Why she's inclined to the who's who here? Freestyle, so free in the style. He me, lean over the yon, eight mile. Yep. Really less of a candy, less of a dandy. School guy, AA's like when it was Randy. He with the toys like a Mike in the 80s. Still got no brain.